Hello, hello, this is Dilliard speaking from the Open Wardrobe Gang, and welcome to yet another episode of our blind playthrough of Blasphemous. In the very last episode, we completed the entirety of the convent of Our Lady of the Charred Visage, and we killed the boss of the associated area, Our Lady of the Charred Visage. While recording that episode, I was not 100% sure whether... I mean, I was 100% sure that the boss did not look like a lady but after further um, a, you know inspection uh, considering you know re-watching my footage I cannot state that anymore with 100% uh, certainty um, yeah and we also managed in that last episode to finish up the quest line of Virgiana I believe her name was this friendly NPC that would uh, aid us in every single uh, boss battle um, you know that was occurring in the game uh, sadly she will not be doing that anymore as she you know she met her sad slash um, you know bitter slash sweet uh, end in that episode but uh, you know she left off uh, like a relic um that will be you a prayer that we will be using in this very um episode considering things that we've also missed um i totally forgot to like read the description of like this holy wound of compunction which we got after defeating that one boss that the name of which is very long um so we will start off the episode with this mark left by the golden visage that reveals the cleanliness of compunction in the soul of the penitent one um yeah the door to the mother will open if the three wounds were to be joined together the mother would suffer a crack the enclosure would end up broken and the forbidden would be profaned santo credo verse three yep another one of those yeah, in this very episode, we will also start off oh, by going to that one poor fellow and trapped by that uh, shell of metal or stone. I believe his name was name was was uh, Gemino. Yeah, l l let's go. Oh, let me also put on the timer because it it wouldn't be me if I were to remember. There you go. Now we are know. Now we know where we are at. Yeah, this area. This is actually a good opportunity, I think. Fuck you. Okay. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's like a set of like shields or talismans orbiting the penitent one let me check out the description once again yeah a shield that damages enemies and destroys some projectiles pretty vague okay okay I I I'll have to say that's a pretty pretty good um good prayer we only get like two uses out of it sadly in our current state or in the current state of our fervor bar i will get in you guys to kind of hit the ground and eat dirt because I need those sweet tears of atonement. Yeah, I think we are almost already, almost already there. Such, such stuff with the roots. The fact that we are not able to interact with them just yet. Oh, there's another poor fellow there. I want to. God damn it. I want to read up on what he has to say. And there's also this room to the left here. I totally forgot about this. Wait, I think I have to climb a little bit more in order to get to that guy on the ground. 
Yes, we did it. On the cliffs located at the foot of a snowy abyss, the roots of a sacred await those who are patient. Well, that definitely is me. On these cliffs at the foot of a snowy abyss. Is this in any way, shape or form giving me a, an idea where I should be looking for those roots? But like... At the foot of a snowy abyss. I've already been through the entirety of the graveyard of the peaks and I think that location perfectly matches this description. But I have not found anything nice. <laughs> of course, of course. Let's get out this, you know, let's get it out of the way. The the unfortunate death to gravity of this episode and let's proceed with caution from now on and we will surely not die again to to something like this, right? Okay, okay. I think we can just skip those enemies or oh, i will just farm them this is fine these are not mad no match for me nowadays i can also one cycle these fiends that jump out of the ground Okay, yeah, I remember this room Now I kind of forgot about it earlier. I Still have no idea what this is It's like a tomb Of someone and there are like three people around I don't remember I don't I, I don't think we've encountered anything in this game so far that kind of like matches the vibe that I'm getting from here. We have not encountered any tree people. M maybe outside of Gemino and the only tombs that we interacted with were those slabs that attack you in various parts of the blasphemous world. Um, or, or those like knights that carry those tombs on their backs and they are protected because of it. Don't know what this is yet. Uh, this is peculiar. I will leave a marker here, but like a special one. Yeah, I'm leaving the same one that we uh, left for this one tree over here that you can, I don't know, interact with somehow. And I yet don't know yet what it all means where is oh my god i have to go back for my guild fragment i guess it's fine it's, i guess it's fine can i even drop down here yes i can this time i'm trying to be safe What happened to him? Okay. Let's say no and let's check out the item that we have. M maybe it's not too late. Maybe this was uh, supposed to happen, you know? I, I Initially I thought, oh no, oh no, I am too late. Also in the last episode we got an empty bile vessel, we'll have to look into that. Uh, we have to get to a morning fountain. May maybe just one appears. On the way, I don't think I will be, like, taking a detour in order to get one more flask. Mm. Trimple adorned with gold carrying an inscription that reads, yes. Yeah, I remember this. Okay, so nothing changed, kind of, uh, in regards to the... Oh, wow, we bugged out. <laughs> Look at this. Oh went away we we're so cool for a moment oh let's go we are sliding moonwalking not even walking 
check moving around with the the power of my mind i did not earlier on realize that there is someone in that bell to the right of me currently okay maybe it's nothing maybe it was this creature was there initially i don't know i think there is no reason not to give it i feel the boiling oil oh. entering my veins as it mixes with the frozen sap okay i mean Maybe I'm misremembering, but this was a really cool visual earlier on. But I've been saying and saying and saying that he's entrapped is like some kind of a metal or stone. But it seems that he is being totally consumed by that tree or, or something, right? He's totally being consumed by that tree. Hmm. Or like merging with it almost um so uh, keeping that in mind or or taking that into account now that tomb with like end people and tree people to the left that we've just been to is like okay now now that's that's fishy what what is it that that all about is that a part of this quest line the others no answer no answer oh wait a minute did we possibly i mean we gave it to him but did we kind of screw over this quest line are we are we too late were we supposed to come back to him when he still was like a not a tree person Oh, that's sad. I think that might be it. We, we totally should have, like, beelined towards the church. I mean, we did. We did beeline it, but we later on it turned out it was, like, too difficult. So what I should have done is go to Mercy Dreams and later on go to Hondo and Grievous Ascent and only after that speak with him and that would be like the natural, you know, order of things, I guess. I am sad that we messed up this quest line because this is how it looks to me. Well, it is what it is. This is like the price you pay for uh, playing a, a game blind. We'll have to, you know, look it up later what this old quest line was about. Kind of, uh, kind of interested. I feel myself weakening. I am sentenced to perish abandoned in this forceful praying position. <laughs> I can no longer hear the rest, only the rusted cages swaying in the wind. Yeah, these messages from these dying bodies kind of depressing all around. Man, I am really sad about Gemino. <laughs> but what can you do, right? We, we couldn't have known is the thing. Okay, but I think there is like a ch child of moonlight in here and you could totally get it by the use of our new ranged attack. Nice. All right. Amazing. Making some progress finally. In regards to the uh, markers on the map. But what interests me the most and what I'm the most hyped about must is definitely. The gate, the exciting gate, when it opened up in the last episode, a cutscene played. So I have high hopes. Okay, we are going. Oh my goodness! And you are back? Oh, Penitent One, is it true that the roads are free? 
wondrous vision thou allowest me to behold. Listen to be our encounter. Okay, little toe made of limestone. Another one of those. Okay, that's amazing. Well, in the same episode in which it turns out that we are, um, you know, messing up one of the quest lines, the quest lines, it is also revealed that another one is being progressed smoothly, uh, smoothly with the grandpa. I guess he was like, he he was here, he he would be here waiting for me to like go all this way around in order to provide him with this shortcut. But good thing is we've already like unlocked it. Uh, when we were here for the very first time. It is a bleed. And we are provided with an item. Yeah, the last one was fourth toe made of limestone. Currently, we currently equip it. It reduces dodging cooldown. What about this one? Little toe made of limestone toe from the statue of the first barefoot pilgrim, the vestigial little toe pushed the stones of his path increases dodging distance so dodging cooldown and dodging distance huh mm. hmm cooldown seems more useful mm. so i don't think we'll be equipping this one um if we unlock the three remaining rosary uh, beads um or rosary bead spots maybe i will consider putting this on but this makes me think whether the whether whether the the quest line of the grandpa is like ridiculously long because he has already provided me with two um toes made of limestone and there are like five obviously <laughs> toes in to total on a foot the, and we've already had like several encounters with the guy so are you telling me that this this quest is 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 that much longer i mean i'm all for it i i love our um our wandering grandpa and the way he speaks but that is surprising a, a, a quest line is like spanning throughout the entire game just sounds like uh, trouble you know <laughs> it's like the longer a quest line is the more likely it is that a, per a player messes it up and i'm kind of known for that so it's my special ability okay that, that was a late parry but whatever we made it work uh i totally wanted to check out this item okay let's let's take this and actually go back for the for the item i was not aware i, I was not aware i have to get off the path much earlier yeah the grandpa is gone Yeah, it was right here somewhere. You use the amazing lunge attack. Okay, yeah, to the right here. No, I can't uh, jump down. Oh yeah, like this. Amazing! And it is acquired with like uh, the the sand item. Okay, pendulas, something. Ooh, a quest item. Tentudias carnal remains, remains of the murdered novice Tentudia that were isolated from the rest so she could not receive a, a holy burial. 
Huh. Uh, this tells me nothing. I'm trying to like jog my memory whether we've heard anything of Tentudia, the name. It, 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 it like rings a bell, but I cannot like place it anywhere or like connect it to anything. Who was Tentudia, you ask? Well, she was once a girl born in this same yellowish village of Albero, like you and me. On her 15th year, something extremely unusual happened. Her parent watched as part of her hair began twisting, unavoidably turning into a very thin thorns. Wait a minute, was she the one that... I, I, I think I remember this passage, she... she... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I do. But which one was it? Concerned with the thought that it might be a punishment from the miracle, they locked her in as a novice inside this distant nunnery, famous for its strict cloistering, thus preventing the discovery of what would have undoubtedly been considering, considered heresy. Was it? Was it? Uh... No, not this one. I I swear I've I, I've I've read something similar to this. Might I have like turned the quest in or the item in which talked about her? Hmm. Yeah, I, I totally remember that story of like a girl that was uh, uh, taken to, to a nunnery. And now we get like a quest item associated with it? That's strange. Maybe it's like one of those I... I don't quite recall. Well, for now, let's uh, delete the marker of the map and move on. I'll have to look into the inventory in order to, you know, remember. Okay, this is the wrong way to go. We are no longer interested in Mercy Dreams. We are, you know, we've been accepted to, like, the big league. We are moving forward to do more important things than fighting the dick trios over here. All right. I cannot get enough. Oh. Sister, I know you are there. Even if I can't see you, hear my plea. He back. After your departure, it is now my turn to prove I'm deserving of our captain's trust. I will not fail, Chris Santa. And may the greatest of pains devour me if I let the penitents through this door. Okay, I think that On confirms guard, penitent one. that we already fought his sister. Oh yeah, they both use thunder. Oh shit. Oh shit. Um, I was not expecting this. I was not expecting this, has to have to be said. The guy is tough also. Jesus, Jesus Louise. He is, although he is like not aware that I am invincible. I mean, not invincible. I'm a mortal, bitch. Can I parry him? I, I blocked it. I guess that was the way to go.
Holy hell, this guy is tanky. Oh shit, heavy damage. On my part though. Ooh. Bro, you are going down. I already know the trick. But right as I say that, I get hit like an idiot. Yeah, he's definitely weak to parrying. And he's dealing with like a parry expert. Oh shit. Oh shit. I have like a weird suspicion that he's like a... I don't know, maybe I shouldn't say that. This feels like he's like a boss that you would encounter later on in the game. That you would uh, encounter later on in the game, but... Uh, you get like a taste of it now. Oh no, he's back. Sister, I know you are there. After your departure, it is now my turn to prove I'm and may the greatest of pains devour me if I on your gut. Oh my goodness, okay, we are doing this for real. Okay. All right, bro. All right. He's a heavy hitter. Oh. Okay, he bugged in the corner, I guess. Oh, come back here. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Did he teleport? Oh, all right. Phase two. I can duck, all right. All right, that was, uh, that was ban. And he's like going down. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Look, this is... Guy is a little bit crazy. I, 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 the, the reach on the, on the penitent one on the mana culpa is not so hot sometimes. Okay, this is weird sometimes. He likes. Uh, he like uh, runs up uh, to me sometimes. I'm trying to uh, hit him, but it turns out that uh, he suddenly appears behind my back, and I'm swinging in the uh, in like the wrong direction. All right. Once again. I was uh, not expecting whatever is uh, like coming down. I have to give props to the developers for, you know, doing what they did right here. Uh, as I said, unexpected, you know, an early an area that you've you've been through earlier now becomes like a boss arena. That's kind of a kind of an interesting. Let's go back. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Can you can you take like yeah, please take it. Okay. 
Okay. That's a perfect start to the fight. Okay. The penitent one also sometimes like pushes him away. Fuck. Oh wait, okay, can I not parry that or what am I doing wrong? I don't know what I'm doing wrong there. Okay, I guess the timing is a little bit different there. Oh, yeah, that's, that has also a different timing. I think he's get, getting low. Sister! Oh, what? What the hell is happening? She's back. Oh my god, I'm getting overwhelmed. Yeah, the timing. He. Now I see. First of all, we got very close to killing him in this very encounter. He summons his sister when he's low on HP, and in his earlier encounters, he was like, oh yeah, sister, I can do it on my own. Something, something. <laughs> something like that. Yeah, I'm paraphrasing. But also, now I understand the timing. He totally doesn't hit me, he hits the ground behind him, charging up a powerful attack and only after that he hits me. That's why my parries are missing, sometimes, at times. There's one tricky attack that he has up his sleeve. Sister, I am on your... Now we hit it. Nice. Okay, you just freaking hit me instantly there. And this is my opening. Yes, this w this one was it. Oh, I got hit by it once again. Yep. Bad gameplay by yours truly. Okay, getting hit multiple times. Call for your sister, you... Coward. Sister. Okay. 
okay I, how, how i didn't oh my god oh my god yeah that's the the thing always gets me killed yeah this is this is tough this is a tough boss fight as always um, I've totally found like uh, a pattern with all of, every single one of these boss fights like it starts off fairly manageable it starts off fairly manageable and then it ramps up and it ramps up and it ramps up to the point you are freaking overwhelmed maybe I'll pop with a player this time when he goes uh, to uh, phase three, maybe this is the time for the prayer. Now I'm seeing also my parry timings, but I'm still not hitting them. The fact that I'm aware of them Sister, and I'm seeing them, it doesn't help there. me at all. <laughs> your on your... Yeah, I can get through this phase, like, without harming... No, <laughs> without getting harmed. Almost. Yeah, he randomly ran to the back of me. Nice. Nice. Okay. Totally fucking it up. Um, what is happening? Why can I not heal? Uh, what is happening? What? I, I... What? Did my, like, controls freak up? Oh, now I can. Now X works. What was going on? That was a perfect try and I was scam scammed out of it by the game. This is amazing. Okay, okay. You're probably thinking I'm making excuses. <laughs> but I was really running around, smashing eggs, not being able to... to... Okay, let's hope it doesn't... That was, that was a perfect try, a perfect opportunity. Is my controller running out of batteries suddenly? That would be unfortunate. How? Okay, this is dangerous. It's like a dangerous spot to be right behind him. Oh shit. Okay, let's heal. This time it works. Perfect. I like this attack, I like this attack, I can always parry it. Okay. Nice. What the hell? Okay, okay. Let's calm down a little bit. Now he used something completely different. Yeah, that fucking attack is always it gets me killed. The only attack that has like a different parry timing. Let's heal again. Sister! 
Well, don't call your sister, you bitch. Freaking... Oh my god. Okay, he's almost dead. Nice! Fuck you. Fuck you. Sister, forgive me. No forgiveness. Now I will cross over to the other side of the dream and return to your side. There you have it. There you have it. Who's the boss? I am the boss. Taranto to my sister. Out of spite, I'm not gonna use it. Out of spite, I'm not gonna use it because that attack is evil incarnate. <laughs> Let's run back to the preview. What a fight. What a fight. Considering what we've just seen, my theories about um, you know, seeing him over and over and over and over, following us, and then fighting his sister for the very first time. Okay, that was correct. Mm, that was correct. Uh, that was indeed uh, her brother and his sister uh, type of a situation. Um, kind of... Kind of weird that we got to fight the sister first and it was like a one-time thing, unless something bugged out, I don't know. Mm. But, you know, you have to actually be beat this very guy uh, fair and square. Uh, I really like that fight, I really like that fight. Um, awesome boss, pretty versatile movement. I was about to say... Um, I was about to say, well, you know, a tiny complaint or like an observation that I had um, considering the last two bosses that we had. So the Tres Angustias and um, Our Lady of the Charred Visage, they were a little bit like gimmicky considering you having to like, in the Tres Angustias you had to constantly ascend and avoid projectiles. In um, the Charred Visage one you had to constantly jump up and hit up, uh, which was a little bit awkward. So I was thinking to myself, oh, is this how every single fight in this game goes? Um, is everyone both vertical and horizontal? No, this guy was like straight up uh, boots on the ground type of a situation in which I had to just outperform him, out um, out parry him or out block him and out uh, um, out out dodge his his moves. So so I, I really liked that about the fight. He had many cool um, attacks, very versatile. The, the, the freaking spinning attack that sends projectiles like every single, um, you know, spinny attack that he had that had created this shockwave behind him or ahead of him. Very cool. The only con of the fight, the only criticism that I have, something sometimes when he ended up his combo or you ended his, your combo, both of the characters would like overlap in in a way and then he would quickly like run to the right or run to the left and quickly start his combo because of that, that. so you are you would find yourself not facing the correct direction sometimes because of these um you know situations in which he would be uh, right there next to you outside of that i am very impressed devs um yeah Keep it coming. Keep it coming. I am um, not gonna waver and I'm gonna take every single one of those bosses down. down. Um, yeah, I think we should uh, continue forward. I hope we kind of see his sister also. You know, I was uh, during uh, my first encounter with the sister, I was talking about you. It would be a bummer. It would be unfortunate if that was the only encounter that we had. The only fight that was in the tank for us was that one-time encounter. So let's hope, let's hope we also find the sister. Maybe she like merges with her brother or something like that, or like gets cor corrupted even more. Um, yeah, I I'm looking forward to that. Don't know really much about the character. 
of his, of this mysterious knight uh, in a red armor, and why he was chasing us. I mean, of course, he was chasing us in order to stop us, but what is his beef with the penitent one? That is not clear to me as of yet. But the, the, the hype, the hype doors have been opened. Now there is no one in front of me and them, between me and them, so we will be ascending in one way, shape or form, I believe. Oh, you... <laughs> I totally thought that another cutscene would play something along the lines of Maybe like the animation from the Dark Souls series when there is like a big ass door and our character that we are controlling has to like pu put all of the muscles in their bodies in order to open them, you know? Um, or this scene from the Two Towers, Lord of the Rings, when Aragorn returns to Helm's Deep and he, in a badass manner, opens those doors... Um, the set of doors with both of his hands, you know, entering the castle, but we just, like, walk through, it's like, well, well, yeah, let's, we, we just shimmer through, right? <laughs> Maybe not shimmer, like, slither, yeah, that's the word I was looking for, we, we like, slither through, they are not completely open, uh, the penitent one doesn't have it in him to, like, uh, you know, create a bigger opening, so we're like, eh, you know. Okay. All right. Don't know how to understand that. I um, extended my hand towards my mug of water because I was expecting, you know, a longer cutscene. But I, I guess that was it. Just a one sentence. Um. A secret light stains the highest branches of the iron tree. Its brilliance penetrates its walls into the hall where she rests, shrouding my eyes in purple darkness. Ooh, that, that line hits. Its brilliance penetrates its walls into the hall where she rests, shrouding my eyes in purple darkness. Okay. Yeah, the Iron Tree. Um, when he killed the... Um, a lady of the charred visage in the very last episode the cutscene played and the wall or like the gate that we've just went through was like ridiculously high in that cutscene like comically high so I can only assume that now we are instantly ascending it interesting design choice by whoever lives here <laughs> okay okay that's very nice that's very welcome now that i think about it we should totally use it i think we should totally use it before venturing forth and i also have to check the goddamn prayer so much is happening and i love to ramble um I should totally use the teleportation in order to give myself another flask. That should be my priority. But where is it? Is, is there a flask uh, or a morning fountain next to a, a teleport? I guess here is one. That could be it. So I have to go to Grievance Ascends. Um, yeah. And another thing. Is there another thing? I should use those points to either get this or maybe should we get that item that the um, Candelaria has in store for us in like the Graveyard of the Peaks. So what is this? Let's see. Optimizes the way Mea Culpa concentrates its power using its sharp thorns instead of the blade and allowing the Penitent One to perform a devastating attack much faster. Oh! 
I have not been using like the 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 sinful wrath, the 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 strong attack since I've unlocked it. <laughs> That's so funny. I completely forgot it's in the game. I completely forgot it's in the game. Yeah, it's awesome. It's here, but god damn, it charges for a long time. Do you think I could have used it in the very last boss fight? Impossible. That's impossible. That's that's outrageous. I would I would get hit like 10 times. Let's uh yeah, but I, I guess I have to test it out. Let's get to this, I guess. To that um fountain of mourning. Okay. Alright. I should really kill those guys. I, I need that currency. It's literally free currency. I have bills to pay, goddammit. And abilities to unlock. Uh, I think we go through here. I, I think we go through the belt and not through the platform. Can't remember really. Oh, get hit one way or another. Oh no, I totally took uh, the wrong way. Great. Yeah, it wasn't so bad, actually. Ooh, 1000 for this. I totally forgot that there is price associated with it. But I think it's a no-brainer. I think it's a no-brainer. Totally. I guess we are going back to the teleporter now. Now what we do... I, I want to check that item out. I want to check that item out because we had no way of like interacting with it. Um, when it was still like... In the shop, right? I'm really curious what that item is. I, I guess the, the strong attack can wait, right? Uh, where are where are we going even? What should we do is the question. What should we do? Uh, what was I talking about even? I totally lost track what I was about to do. Oh yes, here. Yeah, Graveyard of the Peaks. Where's a teleporter? Is there a teleporter somewhere here? I guess Albero is the closest. Let's go to Albero then. God bless. God bless this teleporting system. Without it, the game would be uh, so much more tedious. Like, to the point of it being, like, insufferable, I believe. I I initially, I was like... Time outside the but if your pen sorrowful. Initially, I was not sure about the teleporting system, but, but... But, like, after some time, the game grew so much that, like, running from one place to another will became... The, the thought of, of it became tedious to me. And look in the top left corner. There are two cats fighting on the uh, on the roof. That's so cute. Okay, so this is what I can do with the item. See no reason why not. I. I, I need the tears of atonement, bro. I need like ten k, let's say. Uh, that was not 10k, that was 1k. Tops. 
But it is what it is. I'll make do with 1k. Thank you very much. J just sold like a holy relic. <laughs> for, for like a funny amount of, of tears of atonement. Wonder if I'm getting scammed out of my mind by these people. These window dwellers. Also, leave a marker so I know something is down here. Um, where are we going? Oh yeah, to the right. Hello, Candelaria. Provide me with this piece of this charcoal. Is a and may I don't... Ember of the Holy Cremation. Ember crystallized through a long-forgotten ritual. It retains some of the heat of a bonfire lit on a different land. Tempers the heart, increasing the defenses of whoever carries it. <sighs> Costs 5k. It, it is ought to be good, right? It's ought to be good when it's this expensive, right? How much of an increase are we are we talking about? The Darth Skull slightly strengthens the penitence with defensive. So should I just put this on instead of the skull? Because it increases the defenses of whoever carries it in order of slightly increasing defenses. I think I'll follow through with that, with that logic and just, uh, yeah, put it on. There is no, like, a window with, like, stats that you can check out here. And I also have to, <laughs> I have to check out this item I forgot again. Plead to the storms intoned by dry throats and shaking voices calls forth blazing rays that pierce the clouds, striking down nearby enemies. Awesome description. I think I'll try to use it. Sister of mine, don't leave me, for I carry you in my heart and in my heart. Oh, for I carry you in my breast and in my heart. Sister of mine, don't leave me bleeding, for I carry you in my chest and in my blood. Sister of mine, don't leave me in silence, for I carry you in my bosom and in my song. Okay. I, I can get two uses out of this. Um, where is the closest? I think we'll just teleport. No, we won't teleport to Elbero. We'll elevator ourselves down to Elbero by um, the 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 like the other skill that was available to us for two and a half or two point seven k, and then we can continue forth. Where do you go from here? To the left. I always mess it up. Yes, here. Okay, what is it? Hmm. Perfects the technique of the plunged attack by concentrating power of um, on mea culpa during the fall, which causes an explosion around the point of impact that pushes and damages the enemies around. Okay, I do sometimes use it, so I think this is actually a useful upgrade. Kind of like how good this must be if this is 8k. Have, have to use the heavy attack, I guess. Okay, I didn't see the amazing shockwave, but let's go. Um, yes, Ferris. Ferris tree, yeah. Or Ferris. Okay. Just one way forward, I guess. It's been a while since we've been on uh, such a clear-cut track towards an objective. Whatever that objective may be. Right now, I'm not sure. This entire game we've spent chasing the three golden visages. Oh, let's go. Patio of the silent what? Steps. Those you have removed from punishment were Perpetua and Esdras. 
foundling siblings who went on to be part of his holiness guard. Okay. Immediately a lore drop ab uh, about the two. Perpetua and Estras. His holiness guard, huh? Are, are we like overthrowing the, the church government in this game? Are we like taking down the Pope himself because of the like it's 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 full of corruption? So this is this a social commentary? It was said that Perpetua could speak to her brother even after death. Okay, so she was dead this entire time. For twisted are the paths of the miracle. I guess that also confirms that we will be not going up against her anymore. Sorrowful be the Okay. Sorrowful be Providing some info about the the boss, I, I do like it. Now there is something that I've noticed throughout the playthrough and I want to mention it right now. In the top left corner, next to the penitent swan helmet that is dripping with blood, there are these three icons, um, like up there. I've noticed them, but I was not talking about them, and I think in the very last episode I finally understood that these three icons there represent the three first bosses that we went up against these three figures um the first from the left the three uh, figures that the tres angustias I, I i believe but but i wasn't going to mention it because it became kind of obvious to me but now i have a question why not include the s fund or whatever his name was and perpetua onto that list what is the significance of those? Th I mean, I know what the significance is. Th these are these sins that we are trying to remove from our heart, right? We have these item or items on us. So uh, actually, I'm uh, <laughs> I'm like answering the very question I am posing. <laughs> yeah, these three: attrition, contrition, and compunction. I I guess now I understand the 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 importance i don't know what like the greater importance is of all of this I, i'm not sure what compunction is but i am pretty familiar with what attrition and contrition is in the context of like the christian church um it is perfectly uh, logical that we are we carry these things with us i was just surprised at how much I guess I'm surprised at how much importance is given to these three early game bosses, which signify something else, but they are still like early game bosses, if you know what I mean. I do wonder whether like the top left corner of the screen with like the health bar will be changing in any way, shape or form further, you know, developing further. Okay. New enemies to the right, but I think I will still try to keep climbing. You know, move on to the new location only when you are done with this one is my motto. Is it the... Oh, oh. Hole of the Dawning. Is, is, is the Pope home? Kind of afraid of this. Okay. The gate's closed. With an item. Oh! Another piece of quicksilver. We've just gotten... We've just got another vile flask and we are immediately uh, met with quicksilver, huh? I did not mean to do that. Um, I think when we... I don't know, actually. I don't know what the sweet spot is. I, I have to figure figure out how much of my current HP I'm currently healing, uh, but with the um, 
with the bile flasks and then only then I will decide whether I want to carry four or five on me. We can still store the Quicksilver. I think we will be encountering more and more both the Quicksilver and the bile flasks. Because, you know, having like two pieces of Quicksilver and like six um, bile flasks in total just doesn't sit right with me considering the numbers. It just doesn't make sense. It would be like what makes sense to me is let's say there are 10 bio flasks in total and there are like i don't know four pieces of quicksilver that you can get so when you upgrade it to the fullest extent you get like six uh bio flasks that are plus four in a way right that makes sense to me the, the, the numbers might be different but like six flasks and two quicksilver that can't be it maybe three quicksilver like nine flasks and three may no idea we, we will find out okay wait what is this what are these statues also let's exit this room because this very much okay hall of dawning it doesn't i totally thought that this room might have the same icon as as this in the grievance sense where there was like this door with like a rose on it it gave me a similar vibe but i guess it's a completely different thing huh hmm well no more theories for now i guess there's only one way forward Yeah, I think we can progress the game a little bit more. On the sacred floor, I will be safe. They will hear neither my footsteps nor my fear. The miracle wanted the oranges from those trees to make no sound of falling so that only the wind through the calms and buttress could be heard. Now I hear only the horrific screams of those punished by the miracle. I will wait patiently. Oh, brother, you... Oh, oh brother, you... You will wait. A little bit more. Uh, a new type of a... A new type of an enemy appeared. A co a an immediately falling apart floor. That's a new one. Of the child, have to look. Okay, who the hell are you? Oh shit! Okay, so in order to hit those enemies, you have to destroy the roots because otherwise, you will get hit, huh? Do they attack you? Okay, not really. They are pretty chill. I guess this is it. The immediately falling apart floor. <laughs> oh. Do they even, like, attack you? Okay, when they run... They, they can, like, charge through you and that deals some damage. Okay. Oh yeah, freaking trolling me. The game's trolling me. Can't get that item, huh? Okay, so there's only one way to go. Perfect. So all I like. Mm -hmm. Spikes of immediate death is not what I like. Oh, you guys made a return. That's nice. Okay, okay. With a slide, I can one-shot them. Oh. There you go. Okay, I think I see another immediate... Another... <laughs> Jesus. Jeez Louise. I almost fell. Okay, so no matter how quick you are, the floor will... 
disappear and you'll find yourself in trouble, huh? Oh, nice. Oh, there you go. We are on the other side now. Fibula of Risp, the Ranger. Mm, Risp Scrimshaw was known for his reckless nightly walks in the woods. He said they helped him think about what was beyond, beyond even the High Wills. High Wills? I totally thought it, was, it would be about High Walls. Um... That's a cute piece of lore. Now, a question that I mentioned earlier is coming back. Is what I am seeing right here the total number of items that we can be found in this category? Or if we just find four more, another row is unlocked? Because we are we are getting pretty full on those uh, on those relics over here. Wait a minute. I totally should look for a secret. No secret. In sight. Okay, and you. Wait. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Fine. You got. You got me. You got me good. With that, I think I will end the episode over here. Um pretty cool episode i have to say i have to say um i am really glad that the devs totally threw a curl a curve ball at us right we've just killed um a boss over here uh, the lady um, of the charred visage and i was thinking to myself okay we are slowing down a little bit this 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 episode will be like chill we will find a completely new area beyond this wall and it will be you know a little bit of an exploration but you know not much outside of that right just finding new things in this completely new environment what actually happened was an awesome boss fight I have to say probably my favorite from the game so far. I do like the boots on the ground approach. Do I? Considering the mechanics and how the fight plays out, I have to say it's my favorite. Considering the visuals and the spectacle, the Our Lady of the Chart Visage takes the cake, no questions asked. Um, yeah. Uh, besides, yeah, I, I yeah, pre pretty good, pretty good, pretty freaking awesome. Um, can't wait to um, explore the patio of the silent steps in the next episode, and maybe we'll g even get to the hall of the dawning. I am really surprised and kind of surprised that um, we are still have all of that st stuff locked into the cistern. We have all of that stuff locked into in the echoes of sword that we cannot access even the stuff in the grievance ascends right i still don't have no idea what this room is that i was uh, talking about today i have not found another item uh, related to those uh, three brides that died still need one more of those um and I guess we still have no way of accessing the roots. I thought that, oh, we will totally find something related to those uh, three things in the in, in this very episode. But I guess we were blessed with an awesome boss fight and a completely new area. Uh, well, that's going to be it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment and subscribe, but do it only if you feel like it. It is always greatly appreciated though because it helps out a uh, channel a great deal. It spreads this content to other people so the, that they can enjoy it too. Um, and considering the channel, check it out for similar blind playthroughs to this one. For the very last time, thank you for embarking on this journey with me and see you in the very next one. Bye bye, stay safe and take care. Bye bye!